Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to ADEPEC. And before I begin, allow me to take a brief moment to congratulate President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris on winning the U.S. election. Distinguished delegates, colleagues, partners, and friends, these are strange times. We are faced with new questions every day and the answers feel harder to find than ever before. So I am especially pleased that so many of you have joined us in this virtual edition of ADEPEC. In fact, this platform has never been more needed because we are all facing the realities of a world turned inside out by the COVID-19 pandemic. We are, all of us, in this together. And together, we can come through it and emerge stronger. And yes, I mean that, much stronger. Times right now are hard, I know. And it sometimes feels like everything is drifting in uncertainty. But there are a few things we can hold on to that we know to be true. For a start, we know that the world will still need oil and gas when all of this is over with and done. Even at the height of the lockdowns of March and April, the world still consumed 75 million barrels of oil per day. In fact, by our estimates, oil demand fell below 90 million barrels of oil per day for only 12 weeks. So we know the world still needs oil and gas. That is a fact. We also know we have the people, the talent, and the capabilities to be resilient. And that means we know one more thing. We know that however hard things are right now, we will stand once more and stand stronger than before. The months ahead will be challenging and oil demand may fluctuate, but make no mistake, the long-term fundamentals of our industry remain intact. We expect that oil demand will grow to over 105 million barrels per day by 2030 and continue to supply over half the world's energy needs for many decades to come. At the same time, the petrochemical sector will continue to grow at a healthy pace through and beyond 2050 in line with a steadily expanding global middle class. These are long-term positive trends and they highlight the central role that our industry can and should play in a post-COVID recovery. So whatever the challenges we face today, we should remember that there is also opportunity. Opportunity to look once more at what we do, how we do it, and how we can do it better. How we can be more agile, lower cost, safer, of course, each of us will have different opportunities depending on where we are and depending on our own individual circumstances. But let me give you an idea of where I see opportunity for ADROC. You all know of the transformation we started four years ago, driving down costs and unlocking value across our portfolio. Today, I see the opportunity to accelerate that progress. For example, take the way we have doubled down on embedding the latest digital technologies throughout our operations. We have saved over $1 billion in the last four years by leveraging big data through our Panorama Command Center. We have captured an additional $2 billion by adopting digital drilling. And together with the artificial intelligence leaders G42, we have formed AIQ, a company specially dedicated to develop AI solutions that will further enhance efficiencies for our industry. So there are opportunities to reduce costs. There are also opportunities to maximize value. In the case of ADNOC, we have been able to use the UAE and Abu Dhabi's status as a trusted, business-friendly environment 
to complete several landmark transactions. We inked a $20 billion pipeline deal and unlocked $5.5 billion in value from our real estate assets. These deals were struck in the most difficult year for the global economy in recent memory, and they prove the enduring and underlying value of our industry. So yes, our industry has brighter days ahead, and there is even more value to be captured. At Adenoc, we are discovering this truth as we move into active trading. In September, we completed our first derivatives trade. Next month, we will begin trading the full portfolio of our refined products. And the first quarter of next year, we'll see the launch of ICE Futures Abu Dhabi or IFAD. IFAD will be the first exchange to include futures contracts based on Abu Dhabi's popular Marban grade. This trading platform will operate at the heart of growth markets and offer great value for producers and customers alike. Ladies and gentlemen, let me share another opportunity I see in these times. I have mentioned costs and talked about value. I also see the opportunity to expand. For ADNOC, that means expanding downstream. Our approach is to invest today to strengthen our position tomorrow by enhancing the UAE's industrial base. Our joint venture with the Abu Dhabi holding company, ADQ, is an essential piece to this puzzle. This JV is an investment vehicle for partners to join us in accelerating the development of our petrochemicals and derivatives industry here in Abu Dhabi. We have the oil and we have the natural gas. We have the infrastructure and we have the logistics. Everything you need and everything in one place and all in the perfect geographic location. Together with ADQ, I invite you to join us in this unique opportunity. Distinguished delegates, there is also one other opportunity I would like to talk about, and it is one that we all have a role to play in. We as an industry can do more on climate change. Yes, ADNOC is already one of the least carbon intensive producers in the world, but our aspirations are greater. So this is what ADNOC will do. In the next 10 years, we will reduce our greenhouse gas intensity by a further 25%. We are expanding our carbon capture program so that stores 5 million tons of CO2 every single year. And importantly, we will explore the potential of new fuels such as hydrogen. And we will do all of this because there is one more thing we know for sure. We know that when the COVID pandemic fades into memory, the world will still need oil and gas and will want that oil and gas to be as low carbon as possible. That is a market. That is an opportunity. So once more, I welcome you to ADEPIC. And yes, these are indeed strange times, but we are here together and there is opportunity. I look forward to exploring it with you and emerging stronger as a result.